NRL vids, zero nine zero. Back here with another video tonight. Uh, tonight's video is just my review on the on the game that you know, I finished a couple of minutes ago. And it's Raiders who beat Manly thirty points to sixteen. Um, obviously, I'm not yeah happy like I usually am in most reviews. But anyway, um, we lost. You know, uh, um, I, I look. I'm just I'm just disappointed because I you know I thought we'd uh, be a lot more better tonight. I thought. But, um, having Walker uh, in the halves would benefit. And look, Dylan Walker was good, but just I don't think he should have been starting at halfback. He should have been K Castle all along. Uh, Garrick, yeah, look, Garrick just um, he's not he's never going to be a class fullback, but you know at least he gave it a go, and um, that's all I can really ask for to be honest. Um, yeah, look, Cam Canberra were desperate. Canberra did pretty well. I got to admit they were. A lot more of a better team. Their kicking game was very strong, especially when they were kicking kicking out in our goal line, especially in the first half, putting heaps of pressure on us. That's where, that is uh, where they, you know, really got their points from, uh, just pressure and, and mainly kept making errors. And obviously Canberra really capitalised really well off the back of them. So that's where their points came from. And I've got to say, good on Canberra, they did well. And um, yeah, I mean, I was pretty stressed. I um. That's why I probably didn't start this review straight away because I had to try and get over it, uh, get, just forget the emotion and all that. But look, I'll just give my honest and dead set thoughts on the game. So, you know, just just to start the game, I mean, we started the game pretty well. Canberra didn't look, Canberra didn't look like they wanted to even play. They, it looked like Canberra was still stuck in the sheds uh, with the first 10 minutes of the match because Manly scored the first try for Dylan Walker, which is a nice show and go, and he scored. And, um, yeah, it was 4-0. Ruby Garrick missed the kick, so it was 4-0 in, like, the eighth minute, I'm pretty sure. And um, after a while, Manly just didn't have the ball because they kept knocking on. They kept giving away six again, so they kept giving away some really soft penalties. Now, I don't want to call it any players here. I mean, I don't want to call it any players because I know that they've been really good and they've been trying hard. They don't want to ruin their confidence. But I've got to say, um, just putting Jack Yevzeski in the team was a bit stupid, I think. I think... Um, Bench of Wavich would have been better a better uh, choice to have in the heart um, off the bench than Jack Kozewski. Don't know what the point of that was. Like Bench of Wavich was named originally at Jersey fifteen off the bench, and Jack Kozewski was eighteenth man during the week. And I uh, don't know why they swapped in the first place because um, I don't know what kind of difference would that really make. But Bench of Wavich has been in better form and he's been actually going okay. And Jack Kozewski hasn't played since round five, so I don't understand what the change of that was. But anyway, um, hope that doesn't happen again. And that was just a poor. That was a poor, um, yeah, I guess a poor selection and by Des there, so oh, that's a bit of an error by him. But yeah, not it doesn't matter really much that any it doesn't really matter much anymore when you think about it. Anyway, <sighs> yeah. So um, look, Canberra just kept putting pressure on us, like I said, and they were scoring points and really uh, easy tries for, the, for like the middle of the field, like Sean Kepi and Lachlan Crocus defense in the middle wasn't good. They were both pretty well, not wasn't just them, but I guess our forwards were pretty gassed. We looked tired, we looked deflated because of all the, um, you know, penalties and, and errors we're giving away, and how many times Canberra were putting pressure, putting pressure on us, because that's where but we got too tired, and yeah, that's um, that's kind of the, the uh, story of it when you think about it, so at half time, well, Canberra scores some two tries before half time, so Canberra's, yeah, at half time, Canberra were 12, mainly were 4. Now, um, I've got to say, when Canberra scored the first try of the second half, I really lost it. I was pretty pretty pissed off because I thought we'd come out the second half firing. But no, we didn't. And, you know, Toff Sipley made an error straight away off the kickoff in the second half. And that's just, yeah. I was hoping for a good start, but no, no shit like that. You know, Toff Sipley, the first run makes an error. And that's where I, got, I went pretty well because, you know, I was hoping for a much better start. And then, yeah, Toff unfortunately has to fuck it up. But... He wasn't, yeah, it's, anyway, it wasn't just his fault, it was the whole team's fault tonight, and um, also, just, yeah, when Sebastian Chris scored his try, that fucking Moses Sully, now, I'm not going to have a go at Moses Sully, but, like, honestly, why didn't Ruben Garrick catch the ball? Like, Ruben Garrick should have called that ball easily, I know Moses Sully, you know, it was just trying to be blocking the defender from putting pressure on Ruben Garrick when catching the ball, but still... Moses Sully just, the ball hit his face. It was a Falcon, and Sebastian Chris scored. And when that happened, when Sebastian Chris scored, believe it or not, I turned the TV off. I um, slammed my door shut in my room, and I just sat um, sat by myself on my laptop, making the thumbnails for the YouTube and that. And, um, yeah, that's what I did the whole time, because I couldn't watch anymore. I couldn't bear to watch. I was watching a really embarrassing and a really, um, a really you know, disinterested manly side tonight. It just weren't good enough, and... Yeah, hopefully we bounce back bounce back against the Dragons and we should get Schuster back, Jake back, 
Tom Voyevich, Cherry Evans, and yeah, we're missing Cherry Evans tonight. Now, every, now everyone's going to say we're a one man team and all that, but to those people who think we're a one man team, go and get yourselves fully fucked because we've proved already this year that we're not a one man team. The loss of Cherry Evans is obviously a big one because his leadership and what he does adds to the teams a lot. So, yeah, people forget people forget that as well. But um, yeah, I don't care. I mean, I I expect if, if Manly were to lose anyway, I I'd, I'd expect comments like that. Tom Tom Trevojevic, Max Manly, a one man team, whatever. But um, yeah, who, I don't care. I don't care because um, the critics can go and fuck themselves. Yeah, I don't, that's all I can really say to be honest. So yeah, but. Anyway, not, not a good night, but uh, look, hopefully Manly can bounce back, you know, hopefully we can just continue our um, surge, surge to the top four, I mean, it's, um, yeah, it's hard to think that now, but we're still, we're still in it to win it this year, and let's go see Eagles, okay? So guys, thanks for watching, and catch another video.